Hey guys, Brick Queen here with a Lego Superheroes review. Ah, just kidding. Actually, it's Spongebob dressed as a superhero, but we'll call it superheroes just for the fun of it. Um, anyway, this set is called Heroic Heroes of the Deep. It is set number 3815 and has 95 pieces. The set was released back in 2011 and it cost about $15 when it came out. Um, and even though it's a 2011 set, I am still seeing this in stores pretty often. Um, it's not everywhere still, but if you look, you can probably still find this in a store um, if you're looking for it. Uh, but anyway, I thought I would review this um, because I have reviewed all of my superhero sets already, um, I think. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I think I've reviewed them all uh, so far. So, in honor of the new uh, Man of Steel movie coming out with Superman, you know, Superman's awesome. Uh, but anyway, um, in honor of the new movie, I thought I would do something superhero related. And I had this uh, Heroic Heroes of the Deep set sitting out. So I thought I'd review it for you guys because I think it's a pretty cool little set. Like I said, it's only $15. Um, this is the box that it comes in right back here. And there's the back of the box. So let's take a closer look. All right, let's check out those minifigures. First, we have the superhero, probably sidekick, Patrick, who reminds me of Aquaman, although he's probably supposed to be more like Robin, but I don't know, I'm gonna say Aquaman, although it's kind of like the colors are inverted for Robin. I don't know, I'm still going with Aquaman, but that's just me. Anyway, um, we have Patrick right here with the very cool yellow and green colors on there. And no back printing. Woohoo! Anyway, so there's Patrick. And then we have the hero himself, SpongeBob SquarePants. Who looks more like a wrestler the way he's <laughs> dressed up. But anyway, um, he's got his little weapon there. And the cape is actually too long, so it does drape down like this, uh, which can cause problems when you're trying to attach him to stuff. But uh, after a while, the cape will stay, you know, kind of folded out like that. So you won't have any trouble with it after a while. Uh, and I guess he's, it's probably supposed to, they're probably thinking more along the lines of Batman and Robin, you know. But I'm going to say he looks more like Superman. You know, colors inverted again. Blue cape instead of red. Anyway, um, and yes, I know General Zod's in the background. Um, of course, you could take Plankton out of this set and pretend like, you know, Patrick and SpongeBob are after General Zod. But anyway, um, <laughs> if you want to see a review of, you know, General Zod or action figures like that, you can check out my Queen's Toy Test channel. <laughs> but anyway, so there's SpongeBob. And then we have Plankton, who can't really attach to my little stand there, so I'm just going to move it. So here's Plankton. Obviously, you know, he's inside this little suit, and he has stolen the Krabby Patty recipe. Oh, no! And uh, you can see his, you know, little hands on here move, and then he's got the little propeller on the bottom. And there are no stickers on, on this set. Um, this is a printed piece, and this is also printed. So let's look closer at the set now. So here are the two heroes in the Boatmobile. Yeah, kind of a pun. They named it the Boatmobile instead of the Batmobile. So definitely the characters are obviously supposed to be, you know, kind of after Batman and Robin. But I'm still going to go with Superman and Aquaman. But anyway, here is the Boatmobile. And you've got the little bubble shooters on the side, which is very cool. I think it'd be a lot of fun to play with this little set. You've also got the propeller on the back to make it super fast and awesome. So now you've seen, you know, from all angles, the boatmobile. Let's take a closer look. You've got, you know, the figures in here right now. That's how they can sit in there. And I'm going to take them out so you can see the actual boatmobile a little bit closer. Now when you have the figures on here it kind of blocks the bubble shooters unless you go all the way out to the side um, like that. So that's kind of um, 
my only negative on the set is that the capes actually block these, uh, but I, I don't know, that's not really a big deal to me. Um, I don't really mind. Um, you've got great detailing on this. I love the way this set is built. Um, it's so small and yet so very uh, unique and cool uh, in the same, at the same time. And it's supposed to be a boat and it has wheels, so I like that too. It's kind of just funny. Um, you know, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know what to say. You've got, you know, the great bubble shooters here. You know, the flick fire. And you guys know how flick fire works. I like how it's got the, the clear jellyfish on there um, for the bubble shooter. And like I said, there's the propeller on the back. You've got the great fin on the back here also. And there's the red phone in the middle, kind of like the bat phone. <laughs> anyway, uh, I think this is a very cool little set. And if you can find it, I definitely recommend it. Um, because I think you'll have a lot of fun playing with this and the two figures. Um, now with Spongebob's cape, you will have some problems standing him up because of the way the cape is. But what I do is with the weapon, I just, uh, you know, angle the weapon down. And so the weapon actually touches the table and keeps him standing up. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this review. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I will see you guys later.